Hello and welcome back everyone, it's your boy Perm and today I'm going to be talking about Himiko Toga and there are actually two reasons, although only one of these reasons will really play a big role as far as this video goes. The reasons are of course, firstly since the latest episode actually revealed Toga in the anime even if just barely, so now that both the anime and the manga have seen Toga, I thought you know when better to talk about her than now, right? The second reason is however connected to the manga, because in the latest chapters of My Hero Academia we had some development on Toga. Toga, well mostly in chapter 148 seeing as we saw a nice side to Toga and it really got me thinking you know that these villains while they appear to be really fucking ruthless most of the time in the end they're also human so just what made Toga the way she is because I don't really think this began with Stain I find it really hard to believe that she went from Miss Nice Girl to full-blown John Dre from just hearing one man's ideals so I just kind of want to dig into what may be Toga's backstory but I should say that this is going to be based on what we've seen from her in the present so nothing that I state about her backstory backstory are facts, it's just speculation. Okay, so the main question of this video is of course, what Toga's childhood might have been like, and I personally think that her past was probably, I don't know really the word for it, cruel or maybe twisted. I mean, if you look at her personality, you can very easily tell that she's not completely sane, right? She's pretty fucking psychotic most of the times, and is very lovesick actually, as we've seen how she reacts to Midoriya. I mean, her sense of love in itself is just all wrong, so with that alone, we can probably assume that as a child or at least younger than now, Toga was either romantically abused or stripped of love entirely, possibly even by her family. Now we don't know a single thing about her family and because of that we don't really know what they were like or what their quirks were for that matter, but we've seen other parents in the series that have similar quirks to their kids so they might have had some blood related quirks as well, but you don't know for sure really so I'm not really gonna dig into that. But yeah, her lovesick behavior really gives me the feeling that you know nobody loved her at all probably, and that would be a nice display if that's the case, to show that not even in the world of My Hero Academia does everyone have a good family or grow up happily. Most likely Toga suffered from being all alone in a mental sense, and she decided that she needs to create her own happiness, and we know that in the present, Toga just can't seem to stop smiling. I think the only time she's really stopped smiling was when she demonstrated to Aizawa that she's an absolute beast. I mean, it's very possible that Toga did kill her own parents, it's not exactly beyond the realm of possibility abilities, but I don't really think she would have done that as a kid, however, seeing as that would probably have red flagged her among most authorities a long time ago, but only recently was she branded a suspect of a series of murders. So I think that if she did, her parents were quite possibly the first victims, and whoever she killed after that, well, those obviously just sort of added onto her list of people that she's killed. We don't really know if it started with Stain or not, but I really doubt it personally. I mean, I'm sure that Stain's ideals kinda gave Toga a sense of goal to strive for, because we know that Toga pretty much worships Stain and his ideals of what a hero society should be like, except she does take it a little too far. And by a little, I mean she's pretty fucking crazy, and that is what I like in my women, so you know, it's all good. Toga wouldn't be Toga without the crazy. At the same time though, as I said, we did witness in chapter 148 that Toga does have the ability to care for others, as she did help twice to calm down when his mask almost fell off and expose his other personality, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I mean, that is pretty much why I think that Toga wasn't always this crazy, because if she has the ability to go away from that mad girl personality in order to help her comrade, it is pretty clear that at one point in her life, she was just an innocent girl who probably cared a lot about other people based on what I've just discussed. If no one loved her back, then it's not exactly strange if she'd eventually just go fucking crazy because long-term solitude will mess up your brain, that's a fact, so if that is in fact what happened to her, then well, I can't really blame her for going insane, but at the same time being someone who just wants love. Because that's pretty much Toga in a nutshell, I'd say. It's just that mystery of how she became like this in the first place, and that's what I actually want to find out. Granted, it's because Toga is one of my favorite characters in the series, if not the favorite character, so that really makes me want to know everything there is to know about her. I don't really care too much of when we get this information to be honest, and we have seen backstories being really well explained by Horikoshi, so I'm sure that he will, when the time is right, reveal Toga's true backstory for us. And needless to say, I hope I am right that she has one of the most fucked up childhoods in this series, because that would really add so much to her character. Anyway, I'll be ending the video here, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and as always, if you did, please like this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. This has been your favorite host, Perm, and I'll see you soon.